Okay guys, so I got the whole unit now uh, wired up here, power going to it. Um, so yeah, so we have our speaker, we have our microphone, our power going in, we have your record and playback and whatnot. So uh, let's uh, let's have a little bit of uh, 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 fun here, shall we? Kinda, sort of, possibly. All right. Test one two three three two one. 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 Welcome to Radio Nut sixty three. Thank you for watching Reina 63. Thank you for watching Reina 63. <laughs> Bit of vibration there on the disc. Uh, I'm going to put the speaker on something so it's not vibrating so much. Alright, let's, uh, let's do another one here. Every time you press the red button here, the record, if you overwrite what's already there. Um, it's a pretty cool device, I got to say. 10 second voice recorder, ISD 1820. So I think this will work pretty good with the cross band. Just gotta find a way to uh, trigger PTT and to trigger this here switch. So basically when it, the timer goes off, it trips this switch. 10 second voice recorder, ISD 1820. There you go. So, this is the next part. i try to incorporate this somehow into the circuit. I'll have to put it on paper and figure out the weekend what I'm going to do um, got to get a 5 volt supply from the power supply or from the radio I should say I don't mind that so much I'd run and just get voltage from a 5 volt uh, regulator no big deal on that um, let's see rating at 63 where parts mean life There you go. <laughs> Interesting little gadget. Eh, just figured I'd uh sixty three. Where parts mean life. So yeah, the device do work as it's supposed to. So again, it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna get this to work um, in the circuit, but what I need to do, uh, the crossband is transmitting on VHF as well as UHF. So what I need it to do, uh, obviously I need a timer. A timer is going to be controlled by a uh, by this here chip. A 555 and a triple five. So I still got this, I still got the that circuit to build. Uh, the timer is going to work in conjunction with this board. So when I'm done with this, this board is going to be part of another board, <laughs> basically. Um, and then, once I get that figured out, um, then when the repeater transmits on VHF and, and UHF, I'm going to need to build a flip-flop circuit. Basically, when it IDs the first time, it'll transmit on the VHF side. And then when it goes to ID again, it'll flip over to the other side. So uh, back and forth say, between VHF and UHF. Um, I doubt very much I'm going to be able to keep two radios at the exact same time. I don't think that's going to work out too well. So I'm going to have to come up with a, uh, with a, uh, a flip-flop circuit for that. So uh, I guess we're going to see how this is all going to work. But anyways, thanks for watching. And remember... Don't ditto. <laughs>